challenge itself. One was a bedroom, one was a lounge. And obviously there it was, um, uh, you know, you could go through. Um, and then there was a lean-to at the back, which was the kitchen. And obviously the garden. Now, Marion told me that there's a big house as you go down past Hen Strand. Oh, I can't remember. Placid Greek, is it? I can't remember. But Elizabeth, or Lisa Caveri, she was known as, as it says in the article, her father was William Lewis. who I'm told was a cousin of this rich land owner. I don't think he was a peer of the land, but he was something high up. I, I, it'll come to me eventually when we, when we meet again, perhaps. Gentry, was he? Yes, yes. Buried in our family, buried in Sangella um, Church. And because she was related to them through uh, her father, Marion told me, I don't know if any of this is true, but Marion told me, and, and I lose it, Marion was telling me because she was a wealth of information that she lived in her rent was ten, 10 shillings a year for the caravan to be on the land because they owned that land. I can't remember when, but uh, Lisa Gavelli went, she had some sort of amnesia or what's the other word, um, dementia. And she went to St. David's Hospital in Kamala, where she died. And obviously, uh, from the time that she left the, the carriage, it was unoccupied. Um, Do they not use it? Does somebody subsequently use it as a stable or something, yes, I believe? Yes, yes, yes. yes. That's yeah, what it yeah, says in, yeah. in, in the article, yes. Um, but yeah, and then and then we, we had a, a reception, people... Uh, you know, press officer for the Cambrai Railway met us and, and we didn't pay the one, you know, we mm -hmm. took it down fair play to them. They took us and, uh, and Marion said, oh, this is, I got pictures of Marion there with, with the carriage, as if I, I'd probably taken pictures. Um, and, um, yeah, it was, uh, um, Marion was, was actually born there, herself. And did they enjoy living in that carriage? Oh, it was immaculate. Was it? Oh, it was absolutely immaculate. Lisa Gavelli. Yes, in the middle. Yes. That is Marion, her granddaughter. <clears throat> yep. That is her grandson. All oh, right. Yeah, it's my father's brother, older brother. And that is Tudor, Marion's father. I th I, yes, that's the front there, yes. Mm. And, but it goes over the back where the kitchen is. Was it noisy when it rained? Um, I should imagine. Well, no, because it had a roof anyway. Well, I suppose so, yes. It had a roof anyway. I think it was just for his protection. It grew their own veg, everything. Well, this is Marion, who was born in there. And I sat in there, I and mean, that's the main road there. It was very close to the road then, wasn't it? Yeah. If you go to Pentecost on the right, as you go into Old Church, and it's here, to where the big tree is. Ah, right. That's where it was. Right, this is Meta and Tudor. This is Meta who bought it for her mother. Oh, that's so beautiful, that photograph, isn't it? Well, there's the washing line there, look, and there's the flowers, and there's... Do you know one as well? Yes, Met why not? Marion. Yes, it's lovely. Well, no, it was just uh, like everybody did. There was no bathroom in those days, no. was there? I mean, I, I, in the house that uh, I was born in Pawey, um, there was no bathroom there. There wasn't even an outside toilet. Eventually, they came out outside toilet. Presumably, had to, did it have a water supply? Of, of yes, there was uh, running water. Oh yeah, hot and cold water. Oh yes. really? Oh yes, yes. So it had some sort of boiler, did it? Like yeah, a stove? Yeah, from fireplace. 
Oh, right. Fire players up to the tank. With the back boiler, did they yes, have? Yes, with the heat yes. into the water at the back, yes. Yes. And there was a cold feed there anyway. Yes. Um, which was metered, obviously. And that, most of that land around that area was owned by Island Farm in Bridgen. And as they rented the, 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 the place, and my grandmother used to, uh, was the daughter of the blacksmith who built something, but I can't remember now. And he gave my grandmother a cow as a, birth, as a wedding present. And she milked a cow, and she made butter, and she was uh, uh, trading on the black market during the war, because she was selling butter for six shillings a pound. And the reason is, as we now know, is because he kept playing this song. Yeah? That's what it says yes. in the article. Yeah. There's nothing to see in the, in the speakers at the back. You gotta hold it. It's better, I've got it on my laptop, it's better on my laptop. Because it's an old 78, I think. Well, I can't understand it anyway. <clears throat> Oh. <sighs> 